हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल डेव इन शान लाइक प्रीवियसली वी हैव डन मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू एचटीएमएल एंड सीएसएस एंड नाउ टुडे आल्सो वी विल बी जस्ट डूइंग द थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू एचटीएमएल एंड सीएसएस एंड आई होप यू विल बी एंजॉय लाइक वी हैव डन प्रीवियसली मेनी ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ एचटीएमएल एंड सीएसएस एंड नाउ दैट आर फिनिश्ड नाउ वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग अनदर बिगनर्स प्रोजेक्ट एंड दैट विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो टुडे आवर फर्स्ट बिगनर प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच आई विल बी शोइंग यू इज how to build a google.com page in html and css it will be a simple page like google will be making and it will be really simple just we will be putting logo and if we want to make we will be also making one search bar so it will be looking more good so it is totally for beginner and i hope you'll be enjoying this video and if you'll be enjoying that and you are learning things from this video so please hit a like to this video if you are new on the channel also hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family members so they can learn how to build this google page and many other previously things which we have done so i hope you'll be enjoying this video so now we will be starting with our project now so like i've told you we will be just building one uh, google.com page in html and css so we'll be starting building that but before that if you are new here and not watching my video so you can check that out i will be also telling you what is my channel you can see this is my channel dev and shall here i have uploaded many of the videos previously on a, and many of the videos which you want you can check that out here you can see that so here there are many of the videos i have uploaded you can check and learn from these videos because these are really helpful videos and i hope you'll be learn many of the things from these videos which i am showing you and you can also make your own things by adding your own features and you can make it more unique if you want to do that because previously i have told you many of the things and these projects are now finished we will be covering up with more new projects like uh we will be covering up many of the projects like of uh, things you can say in html and css of intermediate making one multiple page website making one single page website and we will be also hosting that on google chrome or anything like that and i'll be showing you how to do but before that now we'll be starting with our project you can see this is my channel you can go here and you can subscribe and now i will be doing one thing i will be just opening my uh sublime text because in that i will be working and i'll be making my google.com page open your sublime text editor you can see we have opened successfully our sublime text now i'll be i'll be pressing control and deleting these files here i'll be closing this and now i'll be making two files one of html and one of css so simply i'll be saving one file of index.html and just save it on desktop so i'll be saving it on desktop and then i will be saving one style.css means my css file and it will be having same location of desktop so give it the name style.css and save it on desktop you can see we have saved both file now we have to go up to our index.html file and i'll be going to my desktop and opening my index.html file you can see my default browser is opera browser so it has opened and i'll be doing it half screen with my sublime text editor so when i'll be writing codes it will be showing at my right side when i'll be writing codes and reloading so remember one thing when i am writing codes because some people ask like when i am writing codes they are not showing they are not showing because when you are writing code you have to save and reload here then you can then you can see the codes here. then you can see the uh, then you can see the result which you are writing here so remember that you have to save and refresh because it is really important to do now here simply i'll be making starting tag of html by writing this tag and html just press enter you can see starting code has been appeared now we are making one google.com page so you can just write here google page or if you want to write you can write google.com page save here like i've telling you by pressing control s or from Uh, here you can also save by going to file and pressing this save button you can see shortcut key is also coming control s now you have to reload here so remember one thing like i have telling you you have to reload also by saving here so reload you can see now google page is coming here at the top you can see at the left side title we are getting now when you are getting your title now we want there will be one google logo at the center like we will where we are getting when we are just opening google you can see at the center we are getting google here we are getting search box we will be making these two things one is this google and this search box and in coming up videos i'll be also telling you how to build this interface of full google but today i'll be making only this thing and only this search box so i'll be showing you how to build so when you have done that simply you have to do one thing here just search for google logo just you can write google logo simply here you can download by going to images you can see many of the google logos are coming you can choose this one because it is original google logo you can just 
do that okay so it is not good because it is not having these things so here you can just take any of the google logo from here and you can change its size resolution you want anything you can do so here if i take this one if i show you go at the top and this is really small so if you want in high size you can do that i'll be fully screening that so i can search it more good so here when you are getting your google logo you can just save this image here by pressing save image as you can save it on desktop it is a png image so i'll be saving it on desktop you can see i have done that and here is our image you can see it we are getting okay so my this is coming so not don't worry about this so here i'll be given the name of google so write google and you can see we have done that now we, when we are getting that here i will be doing it half screen again now just do that like that here and you can see we are just getting it half screen and when you have getting that you have to do one thing simply i will be closing this google logo and here i will be just going to my link and i'll be here writing link tag and here i'll be just writing a link tag and when you have written your link tag you have just you have to link your style sheet here by writing style.css and just we have to do one thing okay press ctrl y and save and when you've done that just you have to do one thing here just move to style.css and here we have linked our style.css file now we have to put our google logo at the center so we can just get our google logo here simply you have to move here and write a tag which will be like uh this one then here i'll be writing background image which should be url having and the url of our image is google.png because it is a png file which we have saved reload you can see many of the images are coming so we'll be setting that so okay so one thing is really mistake we have done we are putting background image but we don't have to put background image we have to only put image source so simply i'll be going here then i'll be writing image source source uh, of our image is google.png save and reload you can see now it is good we are getting our image now we want it should be going down and it should be in center so for doing that just put a div tag on your image and give it the class of google so we can remember this is our google image just copy this closed div you can press uh, you can copy it from mouse or you can press shift and arrow keys to press to copy that and you can paste underneath this image source tag just save this file and reload and nothing happens because we have only put the class just i'll be moving to my uh, css file here i will be just making this tag and here i'll be doing one thing just write dot and our class was google which we have saved just remember one thing when uh, just remember one thing like when you are just writing your div and when you are defining the class so your dot is really important here to write if you don't write this dot at the start so your class will be not working and the things that you are writing in your class will be also not working it is just really uh, mistake here of yours so here you have to move and, and write a padding you can give it padding of like 40 ticks or any other we have to check how it is looking you can see it is moving down you can put more padding here to just check that or you can take it uh, in center if i show you how to do that control z here i'll be moving then i will be just writing br tag here to make it down if it should be i think it should not because text is going down with this not the image but we can try this if it is good if it is going down so it will be good save and reload you can see it is going down here we have taken it down and we want it should be in center but this you can see this google logo is really big we want it short, small not too much big so for doing that you have you can move here you can write width we will be writing 100 pixel first of all we have to check how it will be looking when we are just putting that just write 100 pixel save and reload you can see it is too much small but we don't want it too much small so if i write 500 here and 1000 here save and reload you can see now it is too much big we don't want that too much big so if i do that 500 save reload you can see like that it is looking so do that 200 and do that 200 save reload and like that we are getting but we want it which should be just too much good 280 if i do and it is moving forward you can see 300 save and reload so it is moving here you can see it is too much big but we want it should be short 100 here and 100 here now you can see it is measured but its height is not uh, it height and width are just not measuring like that so simply i'll be taking it to 150 if i do so save that and reload 
you can see it is working and I will be taking it 250 save reload and now you can see its size is good now we can take it in center or you can make it more width if you want you can press 260 to take it more width you can see now it is working now we want it should be in center for taking it in center you can press padding and padding if I want of 100 save and reload you can see it is moving in center here slowly so here I will be doing one thing now I will be moving here then I will be writing a tag which should be like 500 pix save and reload and you can see we are getting our google logo here and if I take it to 400 save and reload you can see we are getting it in now in center and with a scroll effect so here we want one thing we should having our input box underneath like we are getting when we are just pressing google simply I will be going to index.html here I will be moving then I will be writing input and here you can just write text because input type text here placeholder you can make if you want to make and write here type uh, type anything save and reload you can see we are getting one input box here we want it should be going down means it should be having some spacing here so simply I will be moving here and writing br tag here also br tag and here also save and reload you can see we are just getting it and now we want it should be having long and border radius here simply I will be going to my style.css file here I will be coming and writing my input here simply define padding of 13 pixel then if I define the width of 100% save and reload ok so you can see 100% width so here when you've done that just 13 pixel is too much if I do 10 pixel and now do that so you can see 10 pixel is also too much 5 save and reload so here you can see now we are getting that now we want it should be having width good so here I will be writing 200% width save you have to save and reload here so when you have done that you can see we are getting it here our width so when you are getting your width here uh, we want that one thing it should be having like it should be moving at left so this width should be also coming like in center so here I will be doing one thing I will be making it at the left so here you have to write a tag which should be like diff we have defined so copy this and just paste it here ok control z copy erase from here and paste here save and reload so you can see it is moving down here so here we are just getting it here so when you are getting it here you have to do simply one thing just move here press control z and just take it here save and here you have to press reload now you can see we are getting it at the center you can see that now we are getting it here but we want it should be not having padding so if it should not having padding I will be doing one thing here like here I will be putting diff tag and when you are getting your diff tag here I will be just not uh, giving it too much of like padding so if I erase this padding from here so where is the padding you can see here it is so if I erase this padding and save and reload you can see now it is going at the left side and our google is also coming but we want this google should be going forward so for taking it here you have to do one thing just write image tag so write image and image i want of like image padding and here i will be given the padding of 400 pix save and reload so here reload that you can see now it is in center and it is moving down so when it is moving down you have to just simply do one thing here like you have to move here and then I will be raising this padding from here also and from here save reload you can see we are getting it in center and we are getting our simple google page here so previously also we are getting but we have to set this also so it can also coming at the corner it is coming at the corner but uh, because I have done that because it is for beginners and for beginners you have to make it simple so they can understand the codes and the working which we are doing so in the coming up videos i'll be telling you how to do that in center and how to make this input box really more good so it should be looking like google so i hope you understand this uh, video and i hope you enjoy and i hope you learn how to build a google page in html and css for beginners and i hope you enjoy so if you have enjoyed please hit a like to this video if you are new on the channel hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family members so they can also learn so just tell me meet you in the next project so for today good
Bye.